Welcome back to the sound for more channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you a tutorial to demonstrate how to use Digistick 2 inside Loopy Pro and how to control various parameters using different uh, action buttons, slider, etc, etc, which can be very useful if you are a guitar player and trying to use a Digistick 2 as a drum machine inside the Loopy Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we go up here, select a new project, we select discard changes and we remove straight away the input as it will not interfere with uh, the recording of the video. And there we are. Next, we're going to click on the button here where it says plus, click on there, and then we add an audio unit input. Now we click on the search here and we search for Digistex 2, like so. And you can see it has appeared there. We click on it, maximize, double click in here on the name, scroll down and ensure that it works. Yeah, we can hear the bass drum and we can hear also the snare. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ensure that the host to sync is enabled so that the tempo is driven by Loopy Pro as a master. Scroll down and then we ensure that we are on pattern number one and we start to create a first pattern with just a uh, um, uh, simple um, kick drum, which will sound uh, like so. We need to set the tempo, click here set tempo, click on 120, click enter, we set the tempo, play. Okay, perfect, we go and create two more pattern, we go to pattern number two, we create again the same um, bass drum, but we are going to add um, also um, snares on the step number five and number 13, so it sounds like so. Perfect, then we go also to pattern number three and we recreate again that pattern as uh, pattern number two, but then we are going to also um, add closed hats like so at alternating uh, steps so that um, we have something like this. Okay, perfect, we go back to pattern number one, which sounds like so. Perfect, we close this. Next, we go on edit. We go inside the editor. We click here on the minus to remove this row and we click delete row. Then we progressively delete all the different columns like so, clicking on the minus symbol. Now, as you know, you cannot delete the last one. So if you were to delete a row, it will not allow you or the column will not allow you because you have only that control on the screen. So we expand here on the bottom like so. And then we add a simple uh, button. We click and hold to reveal the endo, click and hold one on the endo and we make it slightly smaller. And then we add also a slider, a vertical slider like so. Click and hold to reveal the uh, the handles to change the size, resize it like that, and then move it underneath that. Then what we are going to do is click and hold on this one and we select delete. So we have removed that clip, but we still have the space at the top. Now, if I press on this button, nothing happens. And here we have a slider which moves up and down. Now, if I go inside a uh, Digistick 2 and I click here to uh, maximize the interface like so, we have a bass drum. If you click here on this arrow, right, until you get to this page where it shows you MIDI map C248, take that number 48, that is the number of the note, okay? And then we go back to the editor, we click on the button here, we click where it says press for action, click on that. And then what we are going to do is we're going to search for MIDI, MIDI, like so. Then we scroll down where it says MIDI action, send the MIDI message. We click on it as a target, we select Digistick 2. Okay, this one. And then uh, message, and we select your note, like so. And then when it says your channel, number one, yes, value lived as it is. And then for the note, we go to number 48. Don't worry if it says C phrase. In the, the, what you need to match is the note number. Now, if everything is correct, you click here on the send, you can test that message. And here you have the sound of that uh, bass drum. Of course, you can go up here, change that to um bass like so type bass enter and then we have we have a button which says bass if we exit the editor there we are now we press on that button 
and we can play the bass drum. Okay, now we want to be able to change the volume of that bass drum. So in order to do that, we click on the editor again. We click on the slider here. Where it says value change, we are going to click on the plus there. And then we are going to search for a U for a U parameter. Then we're going to select a just audio unit parameter there. We select as a target Digistick 2. And then we are going to select mix 1 because it's for the first sample, right? Or for the first track. So we click on that and we leave everything as it is by default. Now we click outside, exit the editor, click play, and then we can move up and down the other slider to adjust the volume of the bass drum. As you can hear at the bottom, volume is zero. So I can adjust the different, uh, uh, the, the volume of that bass drum. Now let's go back inside the editor. Let's ensure that we have um, uh, more space here to the right. Let's click and hold here. Uh, so we reveal the menu, click copy, click outside here, click paste. So we have copy that, do the same for the slider, copy, click outside here, paste. Now click and move this underneath. Now click on the um, button here and uh, change that to snare. So we change the title to snare. Then we click here where it says press, this is the action. And then we change here from 48 to 49, we increase it by one. And we leave, um, exit that, do the same on the slider here. Click on it and click here where it says adjust and mix one, click on it, target, click on it, and then change from mix one to mix two, which goes is the second sample. Now, if everything is correct, exit the edit mode, and now you can trigger um, snare uh, as well. And you can change the volume, so reduce the volume of the snare, reduce it further, or increase it. Okay, so that is uh, how it works. Now, let's say that um, um, I want to change the pattern. As you recall, uh, we have three different patterns inside. Pattern one, pattern two with snares, and pattern three with uh, closed hat. Okay, let's go back to pattern number one. Okay, let's close that. So let's go inside back to the editor mode. Now let's click on this control here and let's add some radio buttons. And they will appear here. Let's click on them. Now let's change the style to this one. So we have only four of them. Now where it says select item, click there on the right hand side, click plus. Then here what we are going to do is we're going to send the MIDI message. So we search for MIDI. Okay, scroll down, send me the message. Okay, then we click on CC and we set these to 20, which is the CC message to change pattern inside Digistick 2. And you have 24 patterns, so the maximum value will be 23 starting from 0, so 0 to 23, which will make 24 um, pattern. Now, if everything is okay, we exit the editor mode, click play, and we'll be able to change the different patterns. Okay, so something is not right. Let's click back in here. It says uh, send to C20 to none. That's why. So target, we have not selected Digistick 2. So let's try again. Exit editor mode. And of course, you can change the volume here yeah, for the bass and the snare as uh, the patterns are played. Okay, it is as simple as that, as that. But of course, you can also change uh, further the configuration. Now, let's go back to the edit mode. And I say that we want to change the um, the kit. So we're going to add this dial here. Click on it. Now we're going to click here. The, where it says select item, we click on the plus sign. Now we are going to search for preset. We start to try preset and then we search for select audio uni preset. We click on it. We ensure this time that the target is selected. Digistick 2. We uh, leave uh, the list to all presets. Exit there. Exit um, um, the editor. Click play.
what is also nice is that it shows you the name here inside the dial of the kit, which is gray. Now, let's say that uh, I want to change the output of uh, on the Gistec 2. Well, it's uh, uh, very simple. So we go back to the editor. Let's add another slider here. Let's click on it. On value to change, click the plus sign. Now let's search, uh, search for AU for audio unit parameter. So adjust audio unit parameter. Click on target, then Digistick 2 again. Now let's search for output, like so. And there you are. And now let's exit the editor mode. Let's click play. And so we can change the output and we could change also the input as well. Now let's go back to the editor. Now let's click on a button. Okay. Now let's uh, make that button a little bit bigger because we like to have it quite uh, big. Perhaps we get a little bit more space on this side as well. So uh, like so make a nice big button, click on it and we could perhaps change the color to Red, and then where, what do we do? Instead of press, we search for toggle, and then we search for mute, like so. And then where it says uh, audio source actions, we say mute or unmute audio source. So we have a toggle between mute and unmute for an audio source. Now as a target, we need to select Digistick 2, which is very easy to forget. There are other options here as well. If you want to do it post fader uh, based on input, uh, so if you want to invert the value or if you want to have a ramp as well. When everything is finished, exit the editor mode, click play. Now we can mute it, click to unmute it. Okay, so those are some of the examples on how you can control Digistick 2 inside the Loopy Pro. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. You can definitely use this alongside creating your drum machine inside the Loopy Pro and then use that, of course, to record along, for example, your guitar performance. And you can do much more than this. You can add other buttons, for example, to control the session as well of Loopy Pro and continue like so. Okay, see you next time. Bye.